Hi, everybody, and welcome to Them Wise Girls. I'm your girl, Jada. And I'm Nelly. And I'm Lala. Thanks for tuning in with us. We hope you guys had an amazing week. We hope you had an amazing weekend. How are you ladies doing? What's going on? Oh, Lottie, who wants I guess I'll go. You, know. <laughs> you always go. I always <laughs> go. So the pop is back, like I said last week. Back. The pop is back. Yeah. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. I'm going to get my hair done soon. So the pop will be here for another two weeks. Um, I sis- I'm going up to my sisters. We're going to do my hair. Mommy's coming up soon, up there. And we're gonna have some time together because nice. You left and all. She got married. You know, I don't know her no more. Don't see her no more either. Um, so that should be nice. I think that's coming up not next weekend. Um, two weeks. Yeah, it's about two weeks now. Um, I still not get my nails done. It is coming. My appointment is coming. It's coming very slowly, very slowly. Um, what else? School work. Hmm. Work has been and. Very interesting. No cases. No cases. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, but my kids are very different this year. I'm used to te- I have a whole class of teenage boys. Okay. So these are a little bit more advanced street teenage boys. Okay. I got one. I have two next to me that are, I literally have a group. Uh, and they all like so Miss Walker, Miss Walker, Miss Walker. And one How old are they? They are from the ages of 13 to 14, so about six to seven, eight, six to eight. So some are graduating, some got one more year. I got one on my left talking about he's my best friend. I got one on my right talking about he's going to sing to me in Spanish. It's just a different kind. Yes, ma'am, it's a different kind of year this year. But I absolutely love it because they don't come to me as, they don't come to me as a teacher. They come to me as like their big sis. Because one I've known since he's been in sixth grade. So he was like down here. Now he up to here. And I'm like, uh, I can just, I just still bring you down a level. Um, it's fun. It's fun. It's really fun. I get a headache though every single day because it's like, my father, I want. <laughs> so it's fun. But work is fun. Um, why now? I don't have a life, as y'all know. Um, so that's it. Uh, yeah, that is it. So what's up with you, La? How are you feeling it? The baby. Let me say, no one has a life right now. Technically, we're still in a pandemic. Okay? Absolutely. So we have a reason. Um, I'm doing good. This week has been a good week, a busy week at work, but nonetheless good. Um, I've been doing telephone interviews for a particular position. Oh. So that's been pretty fun. I really enjoy you know, I'm a talker. We all know I'm a talker. And I yeah, really you are. <laughs> talking <laughs> to people and meeting people. And I mean, you know, you just make someone's day brighter just by being nice to them, you know? And it doesn't take much, you know, to, to make someone's day. And for me, that's enough. That's all I need to know that I brightened someone's day and made them feel worth something. You know, you never know what someone's going through. And just by your simple act of kindness, you may be uplifting someone. So I have been having a good week. Um, I'm just happy that, you know, the week is over and I get to talk to my ladies. Yeah. How are you doing, Jada? I'm doing okay. I had a busy week too. I had a very nice moment this week a former student who just graduated he sent me an email and he's like you know it's a little long overdue but I just wanted to thank you for all the things you have done for me you really I really appreciate you and you really helped me to push through because there were times I wanted to give up and I just really appreciated that because there's some days I'm like I don't know if I could do this but then I get that one person that changes the whole day and I'm like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. It just was a moment. It just was a moment like anything in life. You know, I'm dramatic. 
you know, 60% of the time, but you know, it was, it it was nice to see that. It was nice that he felt that way because he did give me a hard time, but he knew I was no nonsense and he appreciated and respected that. And that's why I'm the way that I am. Because once they walk out my doors, nobody's going to be cuckoo and woo wooing you. And I'm not going to do it either. You know, I'm going to give you the real life and they appreciate that. And I appreciate that too. Um, I had some time off, which was nice. I was able to get some rest, which was well overdue. Um, So that was always good. Um, I can't believe the month is kind of like just going. I feel like the months have been flying by. We're almost in 2022, which is so like, wow. Like who would think they would be in 2022 by now? Like it's bananas. I didn't, I feel like when you get older, like past 30, the years just go, they go really, really, really fast. And my mom says that all the time because she's like, I just felt like we were in 2000. Now we're in 2021. So it's, it goes by really, really quickly, really quickly. You don't even realize how, you know, quick it goes, but it goes by, you know, pretty fast. So it's always like, oh. Oh my goodness, time is almost over. Look, now Lies about to give birth to Liam. He's about to be here shortly. So it's like, wow, like we're here already. Like the baby's gonna be here. She's gonna be a mom of two. I feel like you just told us like two weeks ago. Like, you know, I felt like we was just on the phone. She was talking about it, but now Liam is gonna be in the building. She's gonna be a mom of two kids. I'm going to have my baby. And Vivi went, mommy has a baby in the belly. She (laughs) sure did. She sure did. (laughs) And the thing is, is kids really do say the darnest things because we just were talking about it before. And I said, Avea, don't say anything. Here she go in the background. Had a baby in her belly. She just yeah. told all the tea. Good thing other people weren't on the phone. Good thing it was just the four of us on the phone. Oh, and I, you know, other people, because everybody would have been like, say what? Like, huh? What's she say? What's she say? Yeah. 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 Was you ready? Was you ready to tell us what uh, I wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't want to tell you guys that way. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was waiting for an opportune time, but I guess Avea was like, nah, sis, let's get we gonna let them with know what, what's going on in our family. This thing is in my way. Well, I need to tell them. There's okay. Yes, okay? Yes. I can't lay down the way I want to lay down on mommy because I'm injuring her belly. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's yeah. how it happened because she wanted to lay on you. You said, no, yep. no, no, don't lay. And then, yep. <laughs> you know, that's still going on to this day. I keep telling I'm like, you cannot lay on me. You cannot put the weight on me. And the truth is, is I barely could hold myself up. That is Yeah, because you petite, you little. You little. I know. Well, I ain't that little no more, but. But you yeah. little, baby. We a widow. We little. We, we little. <laughs> you baby. are. When I saw you, I said, oh, she's so little. Mm-hmm. I wish I felt that little, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I really. I can't believe you you guys are right. Time is flying by. Um, and, you know, every day you see things and you're like, what? What? 2022? Um, I actually was just watching, unfortunately, the movie Worth. I don't know if you ladies had the opportunity to see it, but it's how they assessed what each person that unfortunately lost their life at 9-11, mm. what their family members would get. And I mean, looking at that movie, it just evoked so much emotion. And it really was as though like time, it seems like it stood still because it's so real Mm -hmm. and the emotion that I felt when I watched it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to keep pausing it, but it's like, I can't believe that we're going to be in 2022 and I'm going to be a mom of two. Like, Firstly, who would think that I would be a mom, period? <laughs> <I'm a mama. laughs> oh, you always thought that, Nelly? Oh, I mean, yeah. I did you it. Me and you, I thought I would have to release the first and then you would be after me, but I already knew that. We got like the same personality type thing that comes with kids. So I already knew somebody. You do better with kids way more than I do. <laughs> 
never thought Lauren was because I always knew her and we always would play like mother and daughter and I would be the mom she would be the daughter and I just never saw Lauren as a mother not that I I didn't think she would be a great mom but it just her patience level was always different so I never saw her as a mom (laughs) but to see you now as a mom like you really grew into the role like the way you are with Veve and how you're gonna be with little Liam because Liam is going to be you. I'm telling you that. Oh yeah. I, I really hope that he's gonna be me. He looks like I'm you in the you. ultrasound and the sonogram. He looked like you. I'm I'm looking forward to having a little boy. I mean, you know, I always wanted my girl. I got my girl, but unfortunately, she's not my girl anymore. She's a daddy's girl. She sure Hello. is because this ain't even tell me by after I saw her. I was Ooh. like, well, okay. <laughs> How you doing? She's something. <laughs> she, yeah, she she will anything. Excuse me, anything regards him. That's it. She, she don't second guess it. That's her. Daddy. That's her. That's her. That's her daddy. She okay. she's a true daddy's girl, like in that's true fashion daddy. form. And I saw yes. it firsthand, like in person, like how much of a daddy's girl she is. I was like, okay, then go oh, ahead, Miss yes. Rose. And it's funny because she knows when we film. She's like, "Mommy, you're filming." And we get. <laughs> do you want a muffin? <laughs> oh, do you want a muffin? It's funny. We haven't had muffins in a long time, and my mom actually brought me muffins yesterday. So it's funny that you guys asked that. <laughs> can, I, can I have your muffin, please? I said, "Get that baby muffin." <laughs> so what well, else so has been going on? on? Somebody want to bring me a muffin? Anyways, have you guys ever watched the show on uh, OWN called Queen Sugar? Anybody? No, I it? heard that it's actually I a very good show. A while so, ago. There was a marathon about, I think, oh, two weeks ago because they were entering into a new season. Child, when I say I was... It's so good. They said people I said it's really, really good. I've I never know. watched it. I know most of Tyler's shows to me, they feel like fake acting. I'm sorry. But it, feel, it doesn't feel real. This one, there's emotion, there's a backstory, there's a family, there's a, it, this is like the uh, Southern southern family with the farming and, and everybody's connected to everybody, everybody help, everybody's helping everybody. There's love, there's hate. There's, it's so, so, so good. I started season six, and but the time the time it comes on Tuesdays. By the time I get home and I'd be forgetting. I'm like, oh, but it's on demand. So tonight I'm gonna watch the the I think the second episode. I have two two episodes I missed. Um so it is so 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 good. I think it's on Hulu too. I think I've seen it on Hulu. It's really, really, really good. It feels and and they're very up to date. They're very up to date on what's going on, COVID and and what happened with um the uh, the Black Lives Matter. It was very very up to date. So I absolutely love it. I think it's the I don't watch TV shows like that. So I'm into it. I'm into it. I see, and I watch shows like that. And I did hear it was good, but I just was catching up on other things I haven't watched in a while. I might look into that because now I'm watching something else. Um, there's a new show on Channel 5 with Yaya DaCosta. It's about a, a African-American, affluent African-American family. It's really, really good. It comes on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock. And okay, it's on Hulu, too, because that's how come I catched up on it, because I was watching it on Hulu. And I was like, wait a minute. Lance Gross is in it. Morris Chestnut is in it. Really? It's, it's really, it's really good. Some people have mixed emotions about it, but I just was like, yo, this is really an interesting, interesting show. I've never seen anything like this. I got to look for the name so I could tell you the name of the show, but it, it's really, really good. I, I thought it was really cool. Our really kind of people. That's I, what it is. I think I've heard of that. Our exactly. kind of have people. To look into that. And it, and it was really, it's, it's, it's picking up. Like, you're like, what? Don't you say. <laughs> oh. It's picking up for me. So I've, I've been watching it on Hulu. They're in the second episode. So you still can catch up on it if you watch it on Hulu. Oh, 
So that's an option. Thank you, too. ladies, for telling me about the latest shows. So, I, oh, oh, go ahead, Lock. No, 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 go on. So I wanted to share something with you guys that I saw on Baller Alert. I just started following them. I don't know where I've been. I, have, <laughs> I don't know where I've been, but they be posting some good stuff. And I like what they post. So recently I started um, following them and they posted this. I can be on social media and not text back. This is my phone. What y'all think about that? Okay. Like Go I ahead, said, Nelly. You say it first. Okay. <laughs> so I saved, I saved. Listen now. Social media and tax are two different apps, okay? If I'm on social media and I'm into some hot tea or whatever, or I'm typing or commenting, that's, that's you know what it is, what it is, right? If I got a text, that means I got to close down social media, hope that the page that I was looking at on social media does not disappear because you know once you close it, sometimes it disappears. You be like, oh, okay. And if you don't save it on a little side with a little note, then it's gone. And now they took away the uh, the thing on, so, on uh, Instagram where you could actually go back to the stuff that you liked. And so, yeah, can't do that no more. But Okay, now we're going back to the text. Now I got to go back to the ahead. stuff you like. You can see your likes. You can? Yeah, you just got to go to your settings. It's a different way, but you can see the mm-hmm. post that you recently have liked. Oh, uh, see, see, not see. I didn't know that. See, now you got to go back to the text, right? Close that app. Pray to God that everything on screen is still there. Now we go back to the text. Now I got to go to this person, whoever you are. And make <laughs> post Hopefully you are important, so I have to now text. Now I got to think about what conversation we had because that's gone. I was on social media. Now we got to go back to the text. We need an uncle. Oh, kiki, ki, ki, make fake, whatever, whatever. Think about it. Talk about it. Then go, oh, God. it's too much work. Okay. That's all I'm saying. It's too much work. One app and one, two different apps, ma'am. We're going to stick with one or we're going to stick with the other. We can't do the same. Okay. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> and I feel slightly different. I think for me, it's easy to switch between the two. However, sometimes emotionally, I'm just, I can't be emotionally taxed sometimes. Sometimes I'm already taxed and I just want to look on social media and like veg out. You know how you watch TV and you veg out? It doesn't require any communication. You're just in your world de-stressing. That's how I feel with social media. And sometimes... If someone is texting me while I'm on social media, I'm like, am I going to respond? I really want to respond. But honestly, I am just overly unavailable. Mentally, yes, mentally and physically, emotionally unavailable. And that's okay. That's okay. And then sometimes you get to social media and you could completely forget to text back hours like, I'll be back. That's true. Exactly. But it's okay. You don't have to always respond to every message that comes through via text. Sometimes you just need a moment and sometimes you just don't feel like talking. I know sometimes I just don't feel like talking. So therefore I will not be responding at that particular moment, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to respond, period. As I've been getting older I think it's better I do respond because then sometimes I just plainly forget not to be mean but I just straight up forget and I'm like because this conversation just made me realize I need to text somebody back (laughs) she texts me this morning and I just completely forgot you know and you also have DMs on social media that you have the answer and I can get into it and then sometimes you just Close that the the text app and you like shoot two three hours like yeah girl da, da, da. and then that person may not even answer after that and then the conversation. Hey, I try to respond to texts when they come in. Sometimes I can't, or sometimes I'm just not in that moment where I want to talk. And I'm gonna be frankly honest right now. There are times y'all text good morning and I see it, but I just don't feel like saying good morning at that current moment. 
you'll catch me in an hour or two. But sometimes I'll, I'll do it in 20 minutes or whatever. I'm just getting up where I just need a moment before I say anything else. I'm going to keep it 150 because we want to stun the show. So I'm going to be 100. That's what it's like for me sometimes. Sometimes I'm not in a mood or I'm not feeling the conversation that's being had and I'm not going to say anything. Not that I don't want to say anything, but just yeah. because for the simple fact, I'm just not in the mood to say anything. Okay. And I think that's okay. I think people are entitled to that. I think that's something that you know everybody has a you know their own moment and I feel like that's okay it is okay to not respond to every message that comes through on your phone Jade I feel you because sometimes in the morning when we have that group text and sometimes I I'm usually like oh nobody said anything well then if nobody said anything well then I'm gonna keep going on my day but then okay And then it'd be like, oh, love you guys. I'd be like, mm, okay, I'm a <laughs> heart, heart, heart. Okay, we're good. Exactly, exactly. So that's just what it is sometimes. That's just what we're dealing with at times. I don't I know. love y'all, but sometimes. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it's anything personal. I think we just need to be in that space where we're available to talk. And unfortunately, let's face it, we are li- are living in a day and age where we're always busy, supposed to be available, right? Via text, via <clears> phone, <throat> in person stop ins, and social media. We're always giving, giving, giving someone. We're always getting information in all the time. Well, when do we have a time t- time to ourselves and chance exactly. to break to take a break? You know, exactly. from all of this input we're receiving. That's yeah. why when I get home from work, it's like shower, bed, relax. Because yes. it's so, and just, and my mom's like, why are you in your room? Because I need space. Okay. Sometimes okay. you need a moment to decompress okay. from the I day. I have kids that are on me all 24 hours. I need you, I need you. I need myself, okay? <laughs> you need your moment ain't nothing wrong with that I find after having those moments I do be feeling so much better because sometimes I just need to be alone and I just need a moment to have for myself not for right. anybody else but to just right. have my me time I feel me time is extremely important so right. I, I think that's something that we honestly you know need as, as people period yeah. it's part of your self-care as absolutely it is i love me some so it is it's important to have your me time i was telling my mom the other day i miss her going to work not that i hate that she's home but it's just that time apart that we have where i'm really you know i have my moment you know just like she loves it when i go somewhere she has her moment i just i know for me that's something that i need I can't be with people 24 seven because then I break down and I'm not the greatest or nicest person. I'm, I'll say I'm the greatest, but I'm not the nicest. I will say that. So I need my time apart from people so I could just re-energize myself and get myself, you know, going. You know, Jade, I do that too. When, when mommy knows this, my daddy knows this, when I'm home and my mom goes, why you don't come downstairs for this? Why you don't? Okay, I'm going to give y'all a good two hours and then I'm out. Because I need to be in my own space. I need to be in my own bed. I need to be yeah. comfortable. Because yeah. I don't know if anybody, if it's just me, if I'm in the house and I'm not doing stuff, I'll change rings over John the cook. Me makeup too. Off. I'm that way too. Okay, makeup off, hair off, everything is off in a nice <laughs> I can't, you can find me in malls so, so, doing something. But sometimes she's like, all right, I need, I'm done. Bodies be like, we need, we need to, okay, we, yeah. we, need, we need that cup of wine, black cup of wine, the glass of wine, which I'm having tonight. Um, or hey, beer. do you, boo? Do you? Let me tell you, have one for me, please. Oh, I will. <laughs> But I always enjoy talking with you ladies. It's a delight to catch up with you. I tell you, I have a lot of shows that I clearly need to catch up on. Me too. Being that we're still in pandemic and being that I'm still very pregnant, I will be catching up on those shows (laughs) and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Exactly. So, I mean, like I said, now I'm going to look into, you said it's Queen Sugar? Queen Sugar. 
I'm going to look into that next because I'm just finishing watching, catching up on the Real Housewives of Potomac. So I'm just finishing that up. I I watched a couple of the shows, but I had never watched that particular franchise, that one. So I'm just finishing it, catching completely up. But I'm going to look into the other show. But we thank you so much for watching Them Wise Girls with us. If you have a business or anything you would like for us to promote, please send us an email at themwisegirls at gmail.com. Themwisegirls at gmail.com. And we will definitely answer back to you. We hope you have an amazing day, an awesome rest of your weekend, and an awesome week. And don't let anybody steal your sunshine, okay? So thank you for watching, and we will see you next time on Them Wise Girls. Bye! Bye.